Hey guys, welcome back to Oxangel RC. Today I'm going to do a comparison of a few 5.8 GHz patch antennas with linear polarization. The antennas in question are the Aomway Diamond 13dB, the Micro Square 14dB, the Micro Excalibur 15dB and an AKK 14dB panel. On the plane I will be using a homemade linear antenna but don't be fooled by its looks. This thing has been tuned and should be perform very well. Right off the bat I had a feeling that the Excalibur would be the best antenna seeing how it is advertised as the highest gain one and also because it seems to have the largest area which usually results in better reception. At the field I set up the video transmitter on the plane to output 25 milliwatts because I really didn't want to have to go out 15 kilometers and back for each antenna but wanted to test them all in one go. On my tracker I mounted only one antenna at a time on the left antenna connector. At the beginning of the flight I tested if there is a difference between the two ports on the receiver but the signal quality was the same at distance between the two so I stayed with the left one for the sake of consistency. First on the tracker was the Aomway Diamond. It managed around 3 kilometers before the signal got really bad and I had to turn back. When the plane was near the airfield I removed that antenna and put on the Micro Square one and turned the plane around and headed back in the same direction. What was immediately noticeable to me was that the signal quality was not as good as with the Aomway, although this one made it to about 3.5 kilometers before the signal degraded to a point where I had to turn back. Keep in mind that when the plane is around 1.5 kilometers, I always rotate the antenna to see which way is the correct polarization. Using the wrong one degrades the signal entirely. So, it was now time to go with the Micro Excalibur antenna. Unlike the Aomway, way which actually needs to be horizontal in order to match the vertical polarization on the antenna on the VTX, the Excalibur's correct orientation is vertical. Sadly it also suffered from the same visually degraded signal quality just like the other micro antenna and my tracker was constantly beeping that it is losing tracking data from about 2 kilometers out. This one also was flyable until 3.5 kilometers so no noticeable gain over the square one. Last antenna of the bunch is the AKK. I didn't expect much out of this one and in fact it did perform the worst out of the three only making it to about 2.7 kilometers before I had to turn around. So based on these tests I was actually a bit disappointed with the micro antennas. I was really hoping they would perform much better than they did. I actually think that in terms of overall image quality at distance the Aomway was the best performer. However, after the flight I noticed that the direction I flew in had some trees and at distance it is entirely possible that the plane could have been going behind the trees which would definitely worsen the video signal. So next time out I flew in a different direction where there were no trees and took the plane a bit higher up just in case and here are the results again with the video transmitter at 20 5 milliwatts but this time on my Skywalker Eve 2000. I have to apologize for the DVR recordings quality. I had mounted a new camera on the Eve 2000 and for some reason reduced the brightness too much and hence I got this crappy image on the DVR. At least the OSD overlay is clearly visible. I actually started with the AKK antenna considering it the weakest of the bunch. I was able to make it to about 4 kilometers before the video started breaking down beyond what could be used for flying. So I turned back. It is interesting to note that on the return trip the receiver was really struggling to pick up a good signal and in that regard the antenna performed worst of all of them not only in the range department. Next up was the Aomway diamond antenna. It made it to about 5.1, 5.2 kilometers before the video became bad enough for me to turn back. Unlike the AKK, on the return trip the signal became stable very early on. The micro square was next. It gave up around the 4.95 kilometer mark, so a tad earlier than the Aeon Way. But on the way back, it performed about on par with it. Last was the Micro Excalibur. It performed just above the square making it to 5 kilometers before I had to turn around but it was just under the Aomway's achievement with the return trip being just as good. 
So at the end of the day, rather surprisingly, the Aomway Diamond turned out to be the best antenna out of these four. It is also advertised as the lowest dB antenna and yet it manages to outperform, even if it is by a little, the almost twice as expensive Micro Excalibur antenna that is also supposed to be whole 2 dB higher gain than the Diamond. And as for the Micro Square, in the product listing of that antenna you will find a piece of text that claims that with a 600 milliwatt VTX you could do 40 kilometers range and supposedly that has been tested. You know what? I would very much like to see that test now because my tests are not showing such level of performance. Let us do some quick math here to try and figure out the real max distance these antennas will go. So at 25 milliwatts output power, on average the top three antennas in this test scored around 5 kilometers. To double that distance we're going to need four times more power. So at 100 milliwatts we should get to 10 kilometers. Doubling the distance again would now require four hundred milliwatts of video transmitter output and that would get us to 20 kilometers. Since the max output of my video transmitter currently on the EVE 2000 and the cloud is 600 milliwatts, that is about 1 watt shorter of the 1.6 watts needed to double the distance again. But at 600 milliwatts in perfect conditions I should get around 25 kilometers out of each of these antennas and that is about half of what is claimed in the product listing. Even when I first saw this I knew there was no way it could be true but decided to buy the antenna anyway and test it. So excluding the AKK antenna the two Micros and the Armway did pretty good and almost on par. I I really did think the Excalibur would come out on top but that is what makes real world testing so great. You never know what you will get and something could always surprise you. In reality I have to say that I actually like the Aomway antenna a lot. It has this mystical looking semi-transparent cover that allows you to almost see the bi-quad configuration in there. It is also the lightest and cheapest of the top three performance and as far as I'm concerned it did perform best out of the four antennas even if by a little. It is also the lightest and cheapest of the top three performers and as far as I'm concerned it did perform best out of all four antennas even if by a very little. To me this is the best performance for money when it comes to that antenna size and weight with a linear polarization. So for the time being this will be my main go-to antenna when I want to fly linear. As for the micro antennas they're still good antennas and they will not go to waste. I have recently gotten my hands on a new HD video system. Thankfully this time it is on the 5.8 GHz band so these will probably earn their keep on that system if it proves to be worth keeping. And so if you have found this video useful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Facebook for daily updates. If you fancy any of the items featured in this video consider buying them via the links in the description below. This will go a long way towards supporting this channel and what I do and will be much appreciated. I wish you happy flying and until next time.